Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my Sunday vlog for March 17th, 2024. Uh, in this video, I'm talking about the news, the updates, what's going on in my life. In particular, spring break. Last week was spring break. I want to tell you guys where did I go, what I do during spring break of 2024. And we're going to do the Q&A towards the end of the video. I picked out some questions from all throughout the YouTube channel. It wasn't just last week's Sunday vlog. Some people asked me a question on this, on this eating video. Some people asked a question about this from, from this collection video. I write up all the questions. I put it, I'm going to answer them at the end of this video, okay? But starting next week, uh, this is your go-to place. Uh, this is my go-to place to find questions. Comment questions below. If, I, if you guys have anything uh, you guys just want to know about me or whatever, uh, comment. And I'll, I'll answer it next week for the Q&A. Uh, the next Sunday vlog, okay? Okay, spring break. What'd I do? Where'd I go? I went to Washington, D.C. That's right. Went to the Capitol. This is the third time in my life I actually went to Washington, D.C. My wife has never, has never been. We went with, we, we went with our uh, brother. And um, we checked out all the main stuff, you know? The White House. The Capitol building. The Washington Monument. The uh, Lincoln Memorial. The World War II Memorial. The Korean War Veterans Memorial. We, we saw all that, the, the usual um, Washington, D.C. stuff. You know, like if you go to Washington, D.C., there's like the, the, the main things that go at the National Mall, the Capitol Hill, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But what do we do besides the main touristy Washington, D.C. stuff, right? <clears throat> we went to the National Air and Space Museum. It was pretty cool, man. You see all, a lot of history about uh, space about airplanes, about machines in general. You gotta walk inside the airplane to see what, what the controls look like for the, for the pilots and stuff like that. There are a bunch of statues of like uh, the Wright brothers, for instance. They have uh, statues and like their, their blueprints and all that stuff for building airplanes and whatever. Uh, you see like actual space suits and the actual, uh, 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 how it looks inside of the, uh, the rover and stuff like that, you know? And oh yeah, we saw a movie there. That's right. Uh, inside the planetarium, there's multiple multiple floors here. Um, there was a movie. Uh, you can see a whole 360 degrees planetarium. Some people call it the Cyberdome or whatever. You know, uh, inside the planetarium, you saw a movie called Worlds Beyond Earth. Okay, and uh, Lu Lupita Nyong'o, the um, she plays Maskinata in in Star Wars. She's also in Black Panther in the MCU. Uh, she, like, narrated the movie, all right? So we saw, like, there was like, animations of, like, how the other planets are. You, you travel to Mars, Venus, Saturn, uh, um, you know, Jupiter, all that stuff. You, 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 see, you see, like, what does it look like on the, on the surface of these planets and stuff like that? There's, like, all these animations, all these CGI uh, uh, computers. We even see, like, actual pictures of, of the planets and stuff like that that are taken from, like, satellites, you know? That, like, it's really cool. Um... So we see, like, we zoomed in on, on some of the, the planets and stuff like that. It's uh, it's pretty awesome, okay? So, yeah. Uh, in Washington, D.C., we decided to check out Washington, D.C. Do check out Worlds Beyond Earth. I believe it was playing at the Natural History Museum also, okay? But we went to the Air and Space Museum. They played it there on the huge 360 degrees uh, screen, all right? So if you ever check it out, go check out the planetarium at the uh, Air and Space Museum. They have a movie called Worlds Beyond Earth. Check it out. They have a couple other movies there too that are also playing, okay? Um, we also went to the National Portrait Gallery. This is uh, what it looks like inside. It's, you know, it's a basic museum. But uh, while we were there, they actually had a, uh, an event. They had a Women's Day like uh, celebration, history, women's history events, sort of thing going on. They, all, they had all these beautiful flowers out. They had like arts and crafts for all the people to do. They had like little shows, like little dances and whatever. Um, a lot of activity going on that day when we went, okay? Uh, so we were really glad. The Smithsonian American Art Museum National Portrait Gallery. Uh, there, were, there were tons of like sculptures, all these um, paintings and stuff like that there. There was this one, one uh, piece of art it's like a bunch of TVs lay on top of each other, and it's, it's all shaped like the American, uh, the, the United States, you know, like the, the shape of the country. Uh, but, it's, but it's all TVs. It's pretty cool. Big TVs, small TVs, uh, but, but it's like shaped out in like the United States. There was also this one thing. It was like, it took out the entire wall. It was like nothing but, but manhole covers, broken chairs. There was, I believe like there was a boom box in there somewhere. Someone's 
uh, nightstand or whatever. It was all like laid up against the wall, painted black. And it was like, it was like this, 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 the random bunch of material all, all placed together. Lots of pretty interesting things in, in, in that museum, okay? Um, so do check it out. Um, from the Smithsonian American Art Museum National Portrait Gallery. You can also see uh, portraits of like uh, different uh, celebrities and stuff like that there. There's like a celebrity hallway. So you see like paintings and stuff like that and pictures and uh, you know biographies and stuff like that on, on all the uh, all different um, all different celebrities through the years. You know, art, music, uh, movies, stuff like that, okay? Uh, something else that we happen to have, uh, we kind of, accidentally stumbled across it like we went to washington dc on the same weekend an awesome con was happening we didn't know it was happening okay we were just walking through looking at all the touristy stuff and then we were like hey there's a stormtrooper over there what the heck it's like like goku over there i can't believe it it's it's it's, it's uh, spider-man like what's going on here apparently there was a comic con going on in washington dc this past weekend called awesome con okay so we're walking through the streets, we're seeing all these people in cosplay. I was like, let's go check it out. So we, we attended an awesome con while we were there, okay? I don't have, like, I, there's pictures on my uh, Instagram. If you want to see pictures of, like, us seeing the Lincoln Memorial or the, uh, the Capitol Building, the Washington Monument, or um, just hanging out at, uh, you know, the different places, uh, there are pictures on my Instagram of me going to Washington, D.C. And there's, like, one picture of us, uh, there's three pictures of us, actually, but I put into a collage on my Instagram. Uh, of us going to Awesome Con also. And there's also a video. Yeah, I uploaded a video a couple, couple a few days ago of us attending Awesome Con. It was like three minutes long. I didn't record that much. I kind of just walked through, just kind of explored the vendors and stuff like that. I know that Hayden Christensen was there. He was doing Q&As, answering, you know, taking selfies. And, and um, the guy who played Darth Vader slash Anakin Skywalker, uh, he was there. He was signing autographs and taking pictures and doing a panel or something. I don't know what, what was going on, okay? But, but he was there. Among other people, I, I, I don't remember, but um, uh, but uh, but yeah, it was a good time. My wife was like, "Whoa, I can't believe so many people are into this stuff." You know, uh, you know, Superman, Batman, comic books, MCU movies. <coughs> <coughs> it was a good time, okay. And our brother had a good time too, also. Um. <coughs> 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 Probably cut all that out. All right. So other things we do while we were in Washington D.C., we actually went to the Chinatown area. It's part of this map. So here's Capitol Hill. Here's Chinatown, right? It's not that too, not that far. Um, while we were there, we ate at a noodle restaurant called Pho Eighty Eight. They have the usual Pho related stuff, you know, uh, noodles and stuff like that. But they also have dumplings. They have fried rice and stuff like that. It's a very small place. It's really hard to, well, it's actually not that hard to find because there's a big sign called Pho 88 in front. But um, it's, it's little, you know, it's, it's, it's small. So, um, but it was crowded. Like, a lot, a lot of people came in. So, but I love the decor in the place. It's really cozy, very cute, you know. Um, go check that place out if you have the, the chance, okay. It's in the uh, Chinatown area of, uh, of Washington, D.C. We also checked out a pl another place. Uh, I don't think it's even on this map. It's like outside. But it's called uh, Momo's Chicken and Grill. And they had like Korean fried chicken there. What else did we order while we were there? We, there was Korean fried chicken. We ordered some dumplings. And we ordered a fried rice dish. And we came during happy hour. So they had like free beer at the same time. My brother and I, we, we, we shared a beer. Um, great place. Good service. Um, we went during happy hour. So there's not a lot of people in there. But uh, the food was good. We, we enjoyed it. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. My wife left her hat there. If he has happened to be in that uh, in that area and you see a little white hat, uh, that belongs to my wife. <laughs> uh, uh, we, we, she left the, the, the hat in the in the, uh, in the in the restaurant. So beyond Washington D.C., what else did we do for this, this past week for uh, spring break? We actually went to New York. My brother, my, my wife and I, we, we took our brother to uh, to uh, New York also. Okay, my wife and I have been to New York before. Okay, but. Uh, for our brother, not yet, right? So um, we got to see the Statue of Liberty, Times time, time Square, uh, Central Park, the usual places. We ate there too. I'll, I'll give you more details about that place next week, okay? Re really briefly, okay? Uh, but I say let's go ahead and jump straight into the Q&A segment of this video, all right? So I have five questions. Like I said, all, the, all these questions are from all throughout the YouTube channel. It wasn't just on last week's Sunday vlog, all right? 
some some of these collections are from like uh like the saw video for instance some some from the from the collection videos or whatever okay uh p turn 1756 is the first question here can i get a birthday shout out yeah sure my thir 30th birthday was on pi day pi 3.14 his birthday was on the 14th of march so happy birthday to p turn 1756 you've reached the big 30 uh Huge milestone right there, man. Happy birthday. Okay. Next question is from user, uh, bunch of numbers. I, I'll, I'll say it. Uh, YP2GI6Q9L asked me, have I seen Saw X, Saw 10? And uh, will I do a collection unboxing video of it? Uh, I made a, a video last year, right before uh, Saw 10 was like coming out. I think it was like the weekend before uh, it was in theaters. Uh, saying uh, that, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching this movie. Here's my collection of all the previous Saw films. And uh, can't wait to see this movie. It would be there day one, you know. I haven't seen it. <laughs> so, so Saw 10, it is on my radar. I want to see it, you know. You guys already know I have a huge Saw collection. And um, I made a video about it, talking about it last year. I, I, I got a little, little spoiled for myself because I, uh, I knew that the movie took place between 1 and 2. Uh, very early on in the, in the franchise. Uh, but I, I, did not, I did not see it myself uh, from beginning to end. And uh, it is on my radar. I, I want to see it eventually, okay? I want to buy it on DVD, put all the rest, rest of, of my movies together, you know, the entire Saw collection all together. They're already thinking about making Saw 11. Like, they're probably already in, in, in uh, production about it already, you know? So they're already making it. They're about to come out, you know? Saw 11. So i got to see Saw 10, of course, okay? Uh, okay, next question is from XAVZ here. I can't read that. Can, can you see that? X A V I Y Zen. X E N. Okay. Do you have Fun and Fancy Free from 2014 on DVD or Blu ray? It has Mickey and the Beanstalk. It also has Jimmy Cricket in the film. Uh, no, I do not have this movie. I mean, you, you probably watch my Disney DVD and Blu ray collection. If it's not there, it's not there, you know? Um, uh, Fun and Fancy Free, now that you mention it, I, I, I think I have seen it. Mickey and the Beanstalk sounds very familiar. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'll, if you guys really want to see it in my collection, I'll look for it, all right? I'll, I'll, I'll go on a hunt, find Fun and Fancy Free on DVD. I'll add the collection for the next Disney DVD and Blu-ray collection video for 2024, if that even happens, okay? Because, <laughs> uh, you know, thanks to Disney Plus and stuff like that, people aren't, like, searching it up, you know? People aren't, like, 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 like looking for DVD reviews and Blu-ray reviews like they used to, you know? If, uh, you know, something comes out, Disney-related, well, they can just check it out them, themselves, you know? Uh, next question is from Demario Belton 2748 Do you have Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse on DVD yet? Yeah, dude! There's an a unboxing video on my YouTube channel. Uh, go, go check it out. So... Uh, I've seen Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse many times already. One of my favorite scenes in the movie was like, I think I mentioned it before already uh, when I reviewed it, is that there was a scene where uh, uh, Gwen Stacy was like all sad, so the entire screen, the, the scene was blue. And then like, she got, uh, she hugged her dad or something, and then suddenly everything was turned to color. I thought that, had, that scene had a lot of meaning. Uh, it was really uh, very artistic, you know, I, I like that scene. Then one of the, the, the most cringiest scene, I guess, is that when she was uh, in, uh, Gwen Stacy was in Miles' bedroom, and she sees a, an action figure still in the packaging, and she's trying to grab it and open it out of the package. It. It's like, ugh. Like, you guys see that, that uh, I, I put all my toys in, in packaging, right? I want to keep them in, in good condition and stuff like that. And she's just, like, ripped up, open that, that package. Ugh, cringe, man. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, there is a video. You just search it up. Just go on YouTube and just, like, type in David A. Qua, uh Across Spider-Verse unboxing video. It's on there on my YouTube channel, all right? Okay, final question here is from MK's Art. They ask, when are you going to do another eating video with Nathaniel? Nathaniel, what the heck? So, uh, I, I, so I, for those of you who don't know, I met Nathaniel in 2019. And it's been like, what, three years since he's been in any of my YouTube videos? Um, a lot of cha has changed since the last time I saw him, man. Uh, off the top of my head, like, uh, he used to live close to my tutoring job, right? I, I don't have that job anymore. I, I, I don't work at the tutoring place anymore. So, uh, nowhere near where I, you know, I used to pick them up, you know. Uh, I moved. So, I, I'm nowhere in the, in the neighborhood of where, where I, I used to be, you know. I'm in this new house now, new background, like, uh, 
lot, lot, lot has changed, you know? Uh, also, when it comes to uh, just hanging out and going out in general, if I'm taking anyone out to dinner, it's probably like, like my wife, you know? <laughs> I, I got married since, since then, so if I'm taking anyone out to dinner, uh, it'd, be, it'd be her, you know? Or so, uh, you know, my, my cousins, my, my niece and nephew, you know? Uh, I mean, Nathaniel has nephews and, and uh, sister, and, and uh, he has family to hang out with also, you know? He's got a b bunch of friends. To, uh, it, it's just, lots of things have changed. Uh, no, there are no plans. I think I want Nathaniel anytime soon, okay? Uh, so that is the last question for the Q&A. Thank you for all that, by the way. And um, I do have more to say about my spring break, okay? In particular, I, I, did, I, did, I did go to uh, New York during spring break. I want to give you guys my thoughts and what, what do we do while we're there for that, all right? So comment below with some questions for the Q&A for next, next uh, week's vlog. And... Uh, uh, next time, I'll try to find some other topics to talk about, about life in general, and then we'll talk about the New York trip then, all right? So thank you for watching. Be sure to comment and subscribe. Talk guys later. Bye-bye.